welcome back to Pure Nebraska. Wednesdays here on the program, we like to welcome a volunteer from the Farm Women's Group Common Ground to the studio. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource to consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. Joining us now is registered dietitian Elaine Farley Zuha, and thank you for being here today, Elaine. Absolutely. Yeah, good morning. Good yeah. morning. Uh -huh. So, so many people make these resolutions for every new year uh, about how they're going to eat healthy, and you can really make beef a part of that healthy diet, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think it's important to remember that, you know, the way that we breed nowadays and as well as the way we feed our livestock really helps to make a very lean product. Mm -hmm. And that's not just in the beef industry, but across the board. So, you know, if you look at the American Heart Association guidelines, they recommend um, a couple different things to prevent heart disease and stroke. Mm -hmm. And one of those things is to limit total fat. But we also want to look at the individual fats. So saturated fat is specifically what we want to look at. Mm -hmm. um, saturated fat's important. Um, that's the artery clogging fat. So making sure that 10% or less of your daily calories on a 2000 calorie diet um, is no more than 10% of total fat and then no more of 7% saturated fat. And then the dreaded trans fats, you want to make sure that you're looking no less than 1% of those. Mm -hmm. So you are a registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. What are some of the myths out there about the healthy diets and New Year's resolutions that consumers should know about? Well, I think it's important to remember that um, fad diets are a fad for a reason. And so, yes, those fad diets that are out there, you're going to um, lose weight quickly, um, you're limiting your calories, um, strictly limiting mm -hmm. those. And so that's where those fad diets work. It's important to remember that our body needs nutrients from all sorts of food sources. So if you look at the um, dietary guidelines, they recommend including a variety of proteins and red meat is part of that. And so making sure that you understand that, you know, I, I eat red meat at least four to five times. It's my favorite. I mm -hmm. love beef. Mm -hmm. So four to five times a week is not going to cause issues. It's the total fat intake. It's um, looking at everything. So if you compare three ounces of a lean beef product you're looking at about four to six grams of saturated fat for a three ounce serving, which is about a deck of cards. And if you compare that to a boneless, skinless chicken breast, it's about four grams of saturated fat. So you're right there in the ballpark mm -hmm. of a chicken breast and everybody thinks chicken's like the ultimate, yeah. you know, lean chicken, turkey. chicken yeah. turkey, fish, but really lean cuts of beef are right there too. Mm -hmm. So they can fit right into that healthy diet mm -hmm. aspect. Pork too. Absolutely, mm -hmm. pork is, is right there as well. So pork falls right around that lean cut of meat as well. Mm -hmm. What is a lean cut of meat maybe people should look for at the grocery store? Yeah, that's a great question. So you wanna look for things um, that have the word loin, so things like sirloin. Um, chuck is another good one. Um, tenderloin um, and flank steak is a, considered a lean cut. Um, the flat iron steak that's out there that mm -hmm. you can only get in restaurants, that's another lean cut. It actually comes from the shoulder, from an inner muscle of, of the cow. So it's important um, to know those, those cuts when you are shopping. Mm. And let's say you're going out to buy beef, ground beef, what should you get? The 80, the 90, 85? Well, I tell people get what's on sale. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I, like that. I mean, yeah. honestly, because, you know, our food is expensive, and yeah. so we want to stretch our dollar as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So you can take 85% ground beef, mm -hmm. and you can make it into 90, 95% by browning it off, draining all the fat off, and then rinsing it under hot water. Rinse mm -hmm. it then too. You mm -hmm. have to rinse it. Okay, you I have to rinse that. it. Okay. Yeah, and so that's going to take that extra fat. And if you just take hot water and run it over for a couple minutes, you're going to see all that extra fat drain right off. And then you just press out the water and use it in whatever you're going to utilize it in. Great, great, so. great advice there. Yeah, I like great that. Great advice, yeah. yeah. And you're sticking around, which is what we love too. Yeah, 